I'm out with my aunt today. We're going hiking. It's just another doorway to open up and see. What kind of lifeline will be waiting there for me? I need to bury all these fears and let them fade away. I'm not scared, I'm prepared to find myself again. going to because it was closed due to forest fires but this view is really really beautiful so I will see you guys in the next clip
Hey guys, welcome back to my after hike summary for Mahoney Lake slash White Lake Wildlands. Is that what it's called? And White Lake Grasslands. So I did this hike back when I was in Osoyoos visiting my aunt. I have actually really wanted to go hiking with her for such a long time. She's such an awesome person. So I had such a great experience on this hike. However, <laughs> We were supposed to do a completely different hike all together. We were supposed to do either McIntyre Bluff. I think it was McIntyre or McGintry Bluffs. Somebody's gonna correct me. Somebody's gonna watch this video and is gonna be like, you're dumb, that's not how you say it. But we were supposed to do that one. I had downloaded my map and everything on all trails. I was navigating my aunt to the trailhead. Once we got there, the trailhead was actually completely locked up. There's this house right beside the trailhead and the guy came out and was like, yeah, the trail's closed due to fire activity. There was no fires in the area, but the area was just so dry. There wasn't a lot of rain this year. And keep in mind, Osoyoos is in the desert. This wasn't in Osoyoos, this was in Oliver, but the grass and everything was just super dry this year. And due to all the forest fires that were happening in BC during the time that I went, they decided to close this area just to prevent there being like a fire risk. So we were like, well, what do we do now? There's no service and we didn't have any other trails planned. So the guy basically said either go to Green Lake or Mahoney Lake and there's like trailheads all around there and you guys will find one to do. So we thought, okay, sure, that's a good idea. So we started driving and we ended up asking this girl on a bike what trail she recommends in the area. She pointed it out to us. She's like, there's a van parked right by the trailhead. You guys can't miss it. So we ended up just taking that trail without even really knowing where we were going we just decided to take this trail so there was actually like a map a little bit of a ways in I think it was like a five minute walk and there was this big map that showed all the trails and just like a map of the area but I'm not the best person with geographical stuff unless I'm GPSing myself on my phone I'm just not really great with paper maps or having a sense of direction generally, which is kind of bad. <laughs> but we were looking at the map and we're like, okay, let's just do Hawthorne Mountain. It looks close enough. That didn't really happen. We ended up actually taking the wrong trail, going around all of these little lakes in the area, which was actually kind of cool. The lakes were really pretty. So we eventually ended up at the top of this hill. It was just kind of a lookout of the mountains in that area and like the forest around there and stuff like that. And we just decided to stop there because we didn't really know how far Hawthorne Mountain was. It was clear when we were going around the lakes that we were probably going the wrong way. So we just decided to stop at this high point, look around, take some pictures, have lunch, and then head back down. That's what we did that day. It was a lot of fun. So this little hike that we did was 6.9K total and an elevation gain of 218 meters. So definitely an easier type hike. It didn't have a lot of elevation gain. It just had kind of like rolling hills. There wasn't anything too, too steep except right at the end when we were just going to that lookout. So all in all, this was a super fun day. And then afterwards, we ended up at the vineyards looking around. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. I have one more hike vlog left for my trip in BC. And I think one more actual vlog of my trip and that's it. So this was super fun. I really hope you guys have been following along with my BC road trip because I had such a great time there. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.